I've been an auto worker for going on 17 years. I've been a poet for considerably longer than that. I love string quartet music very much. Music and poetry are quite a relief from the kind of work I do, and much more. The naked music of his spinning sling was over. Dying like spreading circles in a pool, the soft and thudding buzz rebounded from the wall of rock and whirled away in a passing wind. Silent and eyes closed, he crouched, the leather limp and still across his palms, and marveled at how the music's memory played yet among his images and thoughts. How faster or slower, swinging what the antelope gave him, he heard the four-legged father running, his own two feet chasing in the dust, Twenty wolves start and crash into the brush. A panther's threatening cry, the moans of sex, the warring weather, the beating of his or a more primitive heart. The day split by night, the cricket counting heat, the leaves marking seasons in a sylvan choir. The numbers of his hands and fever of the trance, delirium and magic of ritual dance and scales imprinted in the cells of live desire. The melody seems mate, or die, or fly, according to the same law and flame that crystallized the ear and brain and colors in the eye. The first violin's a doctor and griot, who honors each exact technique and trusts precision and faithful play resuscitate the author's inspiration. His face is thoughtful, expertise. His hands transcribe the epic. And here, repeat the virtues of the god. And here, murmur the titan's shame. Here, step out. Here, shout. Here, pause. All exactly as it's taught, remembering Homer. The second strings, well, immediate. Her face portrays each feeling to be phrased by players on the ancient stage. Chorus, agonist, and intervening moon are live in her protean persona. And from proscenium eyes, pathos, pride, and joys of any hue are one soul, simultaneous flesh and wood. The viola works, works, beating the grain on the threshing floor. This is the meat on the thigh that dances, harvest and retelling of the planted seed, the coupling in the furrows, and cultivation in the burning sun, the dance for rain, the fasting and the beaten breast, the secret wine and clairvoyant meal, initiation's trial of labor, the hewing of the statuary when the mystery was founded. Cello is continuity, common ground the floor that hums beneath the circling feet, a belly listening to its body, the balance of its movement. He drones the line implied and chants the wordless lay. The hunter with his bow and sling, whose song was spun before the tribe had planted, remembers best the seas and cells, the risings and descents, and keeps the music's patrimony.
diaspora is in the streets and offices, assembly lines and restaurants and prison cells of power. Whether we slide the knot of a professional tie up tight against the collar or surrender to measured increments of industry, we're programmed to some compromising detail of a lie. What grew within the forest field or burning hearth and all the holy crafts are quiet and cold as buried coal. When sibling, cousin, friend or lover perish, sold to hollow toil, we do not risk some titan's chains of honor to seize that coal and then with human breath revive the phoenix, fruit and flower. Instead, somnambulant, forgetful and afraid, we make our choice, a human sacrifice. Power winks and yields illusion to our cash-caged hearts. Thus encumbered come we to the celebration, muffled tete-a-tetes of jobs and style and wealth. Two black tuxedos and two black gowns sit down. A thousand spatters of black notation are pedestaled on four music stands, and after a few words, the piece begins. At first, it's mechanical. It could be a music box. We sit and nod, interpret, and think. It's played exactly as it's written, remembering Homer. Our long slumbering selves begin to listen and to hear we feel, feel a curtain open on our feelings, and not just feelings born alone like love mistaken or lethargy or rage that's impotent, but feelings shared and pitied, resonating in flesh and wood. The self-forgot is wakened to a labor, not the labor of the lie, but the labor of the maze and bull, the odyssey, the gift of fire, the search for light in hell on which the mystery was founded. Thus dissolves the lie, the heart in hallelujah. Remembered are the seas and cells, and kept in trust for the day of liberation, the human patrimony. <laughs> 